My boy. Bingo spaghetti. Dinner. YouTube poop. This video remix genre has contributed massively to internet culture over the years, birthing countless memes, many of which have become timeless classics. Nice. One such YouTube poop-related meme has established a cult-like following more so than any other. Morshoe. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. Despite only having two pieces of dialogue in the source media that he comes from, Morshu has become an internationally recognized meme symbol. Lamp oil, rope, bombs, you want it? His portly design, bizarre animations, and bombastic voice have made him a fan favorite character from the Zelda CDI games. And speaking of Morshu's voice, he's also notable for something relating to this. That being the decades old mystery surrounding the identity of Morshu's voice actor. Due to the infamous nature of the Zelda CDI games, there's long been an effort to hunt down the voice actors behind the characters, as the voice performances are part of what gave these games their notorious reputation. But frustratingly, one of the most elusive has been one of the most iconic, the voice actor for Morshu. Nobody knows who the hell voiced him. This has confounded people for years, but recently there have been some developments that indicate that the voice behind Morshu may have actually been found. Today I'd like to walk you through the decades old mystery surrounding the identity of Morshu's voice actor. This is the mystery behind Morshu. Today's video is sponsored by Bright Sellers. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Bright Sellers is the premier monthly wine subscription service for wine enthusiasts and folks who are just getting into the realm of wines. Every month they'll send you six bottles of wine, bottles sourced from all over the world right to your front door. I wonder what's for dinner. Now I, uh, I mean the king, is a big fan of red wine. This Italian grape thief red that Bright Sellers sent is a new favorite. It's got a rich taste with a subtle hint of blackberry to it. Pairs excellent with a steak, or so I've been told. And if you like white wines, give the Gladiolus a try. Its sweet yet acidic kick makes for a really enjoyable drink. Another great match Bright Cellar sent was the Still Ben Pinot Noir. The King let me try some of this, and man, it's fantastic. A nice hearty body to it, and a delicious berry aftertaste. Highly recommend. You might be wondering, how does Bright Sellers know what kind of wine to send you? How do they know what we like? Well, it's all in the quiz. You simply go to their website and fill out a quick quiz that gauges your taste preferences. And based off your inputs, they'll build a box that targets your preferred flavor profile. And when you unpack your wines, they'll come with these nifty education cards so you can understand why the wines taste the way they do, and you can flex on your friends with your obscure wine knowledge. You saved me! So what are you guys waiting for? You can save 50% off your first Bright Sellers box. That's $55 for six Six bottles by clicking my link in the description box. The hunt for Morshu's voice actor really began when people started to care about these Zelda CDI games, and that happened when YouTube poop started popping off in 06 and 07. After you've scrubbed all of me, then after you've rubbed oil on my penis, then you can rub my dick, then you can eat shit, then you can take my boy to dinner. Great. As the games grew to infamy thanks to YTP, folks naturally became curious in regard to who were the voice actors behind the various characters. King Harkinian, My boy. Link. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Ganon. Or else you will die. Morshu. Mmm, richer. Who were the men behind these Oscar-winning performances? Did they know that their work had become the stuff of infamous meme legend online? Why not track them down and ask them, right? Now normally to find a character's voice actor, one must look no further than the game's credit sequence. But this is Zelda CDI we're talking, two of the most panned games of all time. You really think it would be that easy? Unfortunately, the CDI games do not specifically attribute each voice actor to their specific characters, with the exception of Link and Zelda. Rather, all supporting and side characters voice actors are listed together under a vague voice artist section. And to make matters worse, the one person around that likely knew which character was voiced by which actor, game director Dale DeSharon, well, he passed away in 2008 and never elaborated on this subject in interviews. So we don't have the opportunity to ask him this question anymore. The unspecific nature of these credits have confounded those invested in assigning the voice actors behind Morshu and the other iconic YouTube poop characters for years. But as time has progressed, an unofficial IMDB citation list has emerged that claims to assign the characters to their respective voice actors. 
This list is posted everywhere on the internet and has been accepted as fact for over a decade now. It credits a voice actor named Jeffrey Nelson as Morshu. But let's pause here for a second. There doesn't seem to be any primary source online explaining how this citation list came to be. There's no interview where somebody behind the scenes says this actor played this character, nothing like that. It seems to be just completely made up out of thin air. I've looked for hours online and can't find any sort of reputable primary source that explains how this list came to be. Perhaps this mythical primary source was posted to the internet years ago and is lost to time behind a broken link or something. Or this list just could have been a lot of guesswork, where perhaps they cross-reference voice actors in the credits of this game with work that they had done in other projects, and that's how they figured out who was who. So with that being said, the long-accepted voice actor and character list uh, associated with the Zelda CDI games could honestly just be horseshit passed around uh, by word of mouth. But after doing a lot of research and digging into this, I actually think it's mostly accurate. And now I'm going to present to you some circumstantial evidence to explain why I feel this way using Morshu as an example. You might want to buckle up because this is kind of a doozy. So here are the credits for both Zelda CDI games. You've got Zelda, Wand of Gamelon, and Link, Faces of Evil. For the record, Morshu only appears in Faces of Evil, but his voice does appear in Wand of Gamelon as the voice of the Iron Knuckle enemy. You Dare defy me? You will die. Guess again, Iron Knuckle. You will die. You want it? You, 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 you. As long as you have enough rubies, you will die. I give credit. Since we know that Morshu's voice actor appears in Wand of Gamelon as the Knuckle, let's focus on the smaller unattributed voice actor credit list of Wand of Gamelon to make this process easier. So which of these voice actors is Morshu slash Iron Knuckle? Well, let's start by nixing the female voice actors. Sorry, ladies. Next, let's get rid of Jeffrey Rath. Why? Well, fortunately, the Faces of Evil credits correctly reveal Jeffrey Rath as being the voice of Link, so he's accounted for. Now you're left with Jeffrey Nelson, Mark Berry, and Paul Wan. By figuring out which characters these guys play in the game, we can figure out who plays Morshu by process of elimination. Mark Berry. Actor Mark Berry has long been attributed to being the voice behind Ganon in King Harkinian, and he certainly fits the bill with his deep baritone voice. Cemeteries are like all those other rituals of death. They're for the living. The dead don't care. Hell, they're dead. I'm not gonna shed one more tear from these eyes. No, sir. You gotta leave the whimpering and whining to children and women. Real men don't cry. Fortunately, Mr. Barry has made this a lot easier for me, and he's actually responded to a YouTube comment outright confirming that, at the very least, he played the voice of Ganon. The claim of King Harkinian remains unconfirmed, though. While Ganon and Morshu both boast very deep voices, I just don't think this is the same voice actor. Join me, Link, and I will make your face the greatest in Koridai. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. <clears throat> So no, I don't think Mark Berry is the man behind Morshu. Let's now talk about Paul Wan. Paul Wan has long been unofficially attributed as being the voice behind Guanum the Wizard. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Koridai. And some of the other wackier sort of yelpy characters in the game. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. My cakes will burn! Characters with a voice that is very much unlike Morshu. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Paul Wan also has voiceover citations for another game produced by the same director of the Zelda CDI titles called Darkened Skies. Interestingly, in Darkened Skies, Paul Wan just so happens to play a wizard character known in the game as Merlin. And all five kingdoms would need to peacefully unite in order to create a new one. Look how Militron makes his warriors. These are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. Aside from the coincidence that both of Paul Wan's flagship characters are wizards, the voices do sound somewhat similar, albeit Merlin being a more mellowed out version of Guanum's voice. So with that explained, I'd be willing to wager that this Guanum citation is correct and Paul Wan did play the wizard. I don't think this guy is Morshu. Well done, Link. Ganon is once again imprisoned. Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs. 
and by process of elimination that leaves us with Jeffrey Nelson being a prime candidate for Morshu. Neither Paul Wan or Mark Berry have ever laid claim to being the voice behind Morshu, and they don't really sound like him either with maybe a case being for Mark Berry, but even that's a stretch. I admit, it sucks having to rationalize Jeffrey Nelson being Morshu in this way, but honestly, our hands are tied. Morshu is an extremely unique voice in the context of the Zelda CDI games, and there really isn't a character allegedly played by the other actors that sounds like him. All things considered, I think this is likely why the unofficial IMDB list exists the way it has for years now with the mysterious Jeffrey Nelson being the voice of gold behind Morshu. If you're watching this and you're aware of any credible or official source that credits the voice actors to which characters they play, please let me know. So now that we've discussed why the internet believes Morshu is played by this Jeffrey Nelson fella, let's talk about the internet's efforts to track this Jeffrey Nelson fella down. Let's establish one thing here. Jeffrey Nelson is by no means a big shot or famous voice actor. He only has voice credits for the two Zelda CDI titles and an unattributed credit for another CDI game called Mutant Rampage Body Slam. The Millennium Wars ruined the world's cities. The Grey Tremor Plague of 2017 reduced the population by a third. Nobody knows for sure what Jeffrey looks like, what his age is, or where he's from. But considering the games were released back in 1993, he's probably an older guy now. The game director of the Zelda CDI titles, Dale Desharon, went on record shortly before his death, revealing that the voice actors were acquired by the Boston, Massachusetts Voice Acting Guild. This is corroborated by the game's credits. So we know that Jeffrey Nelson lives or lived in the Boston, Massachusetts area at some point. Other than that, we know nothing about this guy. But what if this Jeffrey Nelson guy has some sort of social media account, perhaps a YouTube page, a Facebook, anything? Something where we could comment or message him and ask if he voiced the legendary Morshu. Well, the internet has tried something like this before and they got results. Back in 2020, thanks to the RTX Morshu video and various other remixes of Morshu going viral, new life was breathed into the decades-old search for Jeffrey Nelson. People had to know if Jeffrey Nelson was aware that his voice work for Morshu had become legendary. This search would lead to the discovery of an old YouTube channel called Jeffrey Nelson. This channel featured voice work done by a voice impressionist of the same name. These impressions were apparently used for radio advertisements and other promotions. Hardly diddly there, Homer. What's that you got there in that bag? Oh, blenders. Fresh fruits and vegetables from Columbia Fruit and Produce at 6 10 Bond. Ugly duckly, let's see what you got. Roma tomatoes, cauliflower, cucumbers, oranges, kiwi fruit, and avocados. Way to go, Homer. So yeah, we got a guy named Jeff Nelson that's in the voice work business, and he looks about the right age for someone who would have been involved in this project back in 93. It really looked like the guy behind Morshu had been found. This is Captain Kirk of the Starship Enterprise, and with me is Scotty. Today is National Talk Like William Chapter Day. Some of his deeper impressions sounded vaguely similar to a Morshu-like voice as well. You've seen the original 1958 version of The Fly, starring David Hedison. Help me! Help me! You've thrilled, sort of, to the remake starring Jeff Goldblum, and the sequel to that starring, what's his name? Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? Browsing around his various comment sections, one can find many celebrating the idea that the voice of Morshu had been found, and this was believed to be the case until the spring of 2021. This is when a Discord group known as the Morshu Fan Club actually got in contact with YouTube Jeff Nelson through Facebook messages. The Morshu Fan Club asked this man about the theory that he was behind the voice of Morshu. But Mr. Nelson denied the claim, saying that he never voiced such a character, stating his voice work was mostly Star Trek impressions. And if you're thinking maybe he just forgot that he did this, they even presented him with the infamous Morshu cutscenes and he still confirmed that it wasn't him. Unfortunately, this Jeff Nelson actually passed away in September of 2021, just a few months after being reached out to by the Discord group. Rest in peace to this man. His obituary revealed that he had a dedicated career in local radio in Astoria, Oregon and lived there his entire life, never living in Boston, Massachusetts, where the Zelda voice actors were recruited. Jeff worked in local radio for more than a quarter century, got his degree from the University of Oregon and lived his entire life in Astoria. He was an avid Star Trek fan, gifted artist and impressionist. 
His lengthy list of impersonations included his hero, William Shatner, Jimmy Stewart, Keith Morrison, Raymond Burr, Johnny Carson, all the Star Trek characters, The Simpsons and more. He will be sorely missed. So if this wasn't the man behind the voice, that means the Jeffrey Nelson behind Morshu may very well still be out there. Totally unaware that this apparently one-off vocal performance he did back in 1993 for a Zelda game has become a fascination of the internet and is beloved by millions around the world 30 years later. Imagine if we could find Jeffrey Nelson, get him to do an interview, maybe even recreate the voice, or just share some kind of insight into what he thinks about all of this. But unfortunately, unless someone comes forward, I think we're at a dead end in regard to identifying who this man is or was. But perhaps there's a small chance out there that this video could jog someone's memory and lead to a network effect where I can possibly get in contact or someone could get in contact with Jeffrey Nelson. Those who follow my channel closely know this is exactly what happened in the case of the Have You Ever Had a Dream Kid. I made a video discussing the decades old mystery surrounding his identity and sometime later the kid actually reached out to me as an adult and we did an interview and the mystery was solved. Could that become the outcome of this situation? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. If you have any inside info on this case, leave it down below. But that my friends, is the mystery of the man behind Morshu. Let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comments section and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. Slap like, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys next time. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.